G'day mate and welcome to Factorio with me, Jedit. Today I want to talk about solar. Now solar is a renewable energy resource, very, very good in real, real life. In Factorio, it's a good alternative uh, use of, 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 of power. Um, if you want to have a dirty coal burning factory that lasts forever, you're more than welcome to. If you want to... Uh, save the environment in Factorio, solar is a great alternative. Um, more often than not, solar tends to be used for large factories because solar doesn't require any computations unlike nuclear or uh, dirty coal burning power. Um, frankly, I, I, I love all the different power alternatives in Factorio, but I have found as I build bigger and bigger bases, swapping over solar is sometimes a good idea. Anyway, um, this video, we're going to cover solar. So as I said, if you learn something from this video, you, you like this video, I'd appreciate if you click that like button. If you want to see more tutorial videos like this up in the top right hand corner, there is a playlist, list a whole bunch of tutorial videos that I've done in the past. Lastly, if you enjoy Factorio content, I'd appreciate very much if you click that subscribe button because we're doing, uh, we're doing Factorio daily content on this channel. Anyway, as I said, uh, solar, solar panels are interesting. So each solar panel has a maximum potential output of 60 kilowatts and their a little accumulator friend which is basically their battery can store five megajoules but the catch is you really want to know how long the solar is going to uh how much power the solar panel will output during a day night cycle and how many accumulators you need to get you through that night cycle when the solar panels are obviously not producing. To help you guys out, I've done most of the hard maths for you. Uh, actually, I will link down in the description. There is a whole forum thread where this was actually nutted out four or five years ago and people worked out exactly what the ratio is. But long story short is the ratio of every solar panel you have, you want 0.84 of an accumulator. On top of that, people like it when their solar, their solar grids uh, placed in a way that you can actually have a robots go and build it. So normally with a robot port in the middle to make sure that you can paste these down and the robots will then take care of the process. Factor is a game about automation. We all, we will all want it as automated as possible. So a solar panel has an average power output per day night cycle of 42 kilowatts. As you can see, the power is slowly coming off now. And my accumulator in this case is fully charged. It's not actually doing anything. Early, early, early game. Early, early, early game. You generally want to put down solar in something that ranges like this. You know, a single power point or power pole in the middle, and get your next power pole. Stretch out as far as you can. Start at the very edge. Three solar panels. Oops. Uh, three solar panels. Two solar panels. Three solar panels. Rinse and repeat. It works. It's it's. It's labor intensive. It'll get you a fraction of a power uh, of a little bit of power. Honestly, really not worth it. Uh, early game. Same goes for your accumulators to a certain extent. Accumulators are very, very handy when you actually get up to lasers because lasers are a fairly high power item. Um, but yeah, you can put down a single power pole, get a couple of accumulators laid around it, uh, and then rinse and repeat. Throw down another power pole, uh, another. Oh no, you won't actually power up. Another row of accumulators. Uh, and this will give you some sort of battery backup. Accumulators are often used even when you're running on steam power or even nuclear power, just to level out your power usage when you're actually running when you're actually running lasers. So the next thing I actually have is I have this blueprint. Now, I, I'm going to include my blueprint book. Um, I've got a whole bunch of solar grids you can use from the really, really small to the really, really large. Uh, this will be down in the description if you want to, if you guys want to grab a copy. But I did want to include this one. Now, this one, as you can see, it's half built because I'm actually going to build a, a brand new copy with, uh, with you guys. This is an older design, but it works very, very well. And it's something that you should hopefully be able to memorize if you don't actually have blueprints unlocked um, or it's your first time through and, you, and you, want, you don't want to take other people's blueprints, but you do want to have some sort of idea. So first thing we're going to do is go start with solar panels. I'm going to go four across. Then I actually want, uh, I'm going to power up this whole thing with substations. So I want a substation at this end and I want a substation at this end. Again, solar panels, one, two, three, four. This is all about powers of four. And then, whoop, one, two, three, four. One more substation. Okay, so next thing I want is our accumulators. Now, as you can see, uh, solar panels have a three by three grid. Accumulators have a two by two grid. 
So they're a little bit different to try and get placed down and trying to work happily together. But as you can see, we've already started off with a great pattern. We're gonna actually add another two here, which is another group of four. Uh, two here and two here, that's another group of four. And two here to give us this group of four. Then we're gonna go four, four, four. See where we're going so far. Next off, we're gonna have a slice of solo right way across. That's one set, that's second set. Our other group of four is down here. We haven't got there yet. Next, we're going to have is we're going to basically repeat what we had here again. So we can actually use our... Uh, hang on. We're repeating that exactly. No, no, we're not repeating that exactly. We're doing a... Uh, well, we're sort of repeating it. Okay. So we want to have uh, one, two, three accumulators, four, five. But then we want a... Uh, substation there, 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 and I want to make sure that my power lines line up perfectly. They have to be dead straight. Okay, again, solar panels. One, two, three, four. 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 And one, two, three, four. Lastly, we need to put our accumulators on this side. So we did our uh, substations in sets of four. We're doing our accumulators. One, two, three, four. Still with me? All right. Next, we want uh, accumulators in a power of four. So it's one, two, three, four. And then I want to put one in the middle just to make sure that everything's going to be offset from this point. One, two, three, four, and then one offset. Solar panels. I want to bring them up, not quite to the middle, but close to. I want to have a little bit of a little bit of an odd shape gap here in the middle. And then we're going to bring our accumulators up until they line up perfectly. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, then we're going to throw our rover port in the middle. Our rover port, as you can see, it's construction range. Uh, it's a logistics range. So the construction range is the green one. The orange square in the middle is the logistics range. So as long as I have another rover port that can touch the edge of that logistics, they can overlap. Uh, the construction range as is, is the total range at which robots can go out and build things. But you also need to make sure that you get the logistics range to line up. So if a robot picks up a tree for argument's sake and it's inside the logistics range, it can fly that piece of wood through the logistics network back to base storage, back to the dirty coal burning factory, wherever it happens to be. So after we've got this down, we're gonna use the copy paste tool. So control C to bring up uh, this dialogue. We're then gonna select all that, rotate it twice and paste it back down. That gives you the top half to the bottom half, a perfect one for one copy. On top of that, the other important thing when it comes to this particular blueprint is because we can't really walk through a solar field at all. As you can see, if I line up all the power cables so they're dead straight, I now have a two tile gap. I have a two tile gap I can run through. A lot of people put uh, stone or concrete paths down between their solar grids so they can get around in a hurry. But yes, I can now uh, blueprint these down and have the first one if we just add just the power network to this so it can run we're using some power to power up this uh, rover port but you can see the two rover ports can touch one another uh, that's what the dotted yellow line is so we can have our first rover port access our second rover port access our third rover port which then means we get to a situation where we want more solar we just start blueprinting down very large amounts and as long as that yellow line connects from one to the other um, which is really what i'm looking for i'm not really looking for anything else i'm looking for a dead straight nice yellow dotted line done and we can just start blueprinting these down everywhere have our robots go out and clear out any cliffs potentially put down landfill if we blueprint land down landfill down first at the same time take out cliff explosives and blow up all the cliffs so with that said we're going to go oops daytime equals true so you can see this in all its daytime glory but yes this is 
uh, a very, very quick, very, very easily repeatable blueprint that you could build. And you just got to remember the power of the fours, okay? Four across, four across, power, 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 power. At the same time, if you want to be build ahead, you can go power, 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 and set up your power and sets of four. Um, set up four accumulators here, four accumulators here, fill in the gaps with accumulators. Uh, two complete rows of solar panels, two more down here, again, a power of four. Put in uh, your next row of four and your next row of four are solar panels across again and again. Again, because you've already got substations in place, wrap around your accumulators. Then we have our power of a four accumulators once more which we then draw a dead straight line till we get to the middle where they offset once again for the rover port and then blueprint the whole thing. Uh, well, blueprint the whole thing, rotate it twice, paste it back down. It's beautiful. It's would help if I actually built the other half, but it's beautiful. It's identical. It's um, mirrorable. It's, it's, it's a very, very good blueprint. Um, as said, I do have other versions. Um, this is my bigger and better version, which actually fits in. It's designed to fit right to the edges. It is a bigger blueprint. It's a more dense blueprint. Um, and at the end of the day, these all stay, stick to the, the same rough 0.84 of a ratio. I think all of them have slightly too many accumulators, maybe one or two too many, but that's perfectly fine because it doesn't hurt to have too much battery backup not enough battery backup very bad idea anyway with that said i'm going to leave it here thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed um as i said if you find these sorts of videos helpful by all means click the like button and uh down in the description you will find access to this blueprint book in a blueprint string grab that book have a look through it they're all free to use you're welcome to use them or modify them any way shape or form this is my particular one that i've been using for five years now five years i think um myself and another another chap put it together and it's served me well it's served me well anyway with that said i'm out thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video all right bye